Hi, Matt Noyce. A little bit smoky out there for you. been hearing from a lot of you saying you've got some pretty thick smoke. So a little update for you here on this Wednesday morning to let you know what's going on. Behind me, we've got red for the areas of larger brush fires. And then the gray shows some of the smoke plumes. Let me get myself out of the way so you can see a little bit better. And what you're going to end up seeing is we've got uh, two fires in particular. They're sending some pretty big smoke plumes around. One of them is fascinating. Western Mass called the Butternut Fire. It's out by Great Barrington. Uh, crews have been fighting that. It grew over 100 acres last night. It continues to grow this morning. And this one is near Butternut Ski Resorts. You know what they've done? They've turned on their snowmaking machines to saturate everything in the landscape to reduce the chance that fire is going to impact the resort. But nonetheless, that's sending the smoke down at Waterbury, Hamden, New Haven. We'll look at that with the air quality here in just a second. Also, fires around Boston, the biggest of which continues to be Boxford State Forest. You can see that smoke plume that goes all the way down to Cape Cod. How come? Why today? Because the wind's light. So when the wind is a little stronger, it mixes things up a little bit more. So what that does is it actually tends to disperse the smoke a little bit better. Today, that's not the case. The wind is light. The good news is that means there's not much fire spread. The bad news is the smoke just drifts around. So you can see that air quality is down moderate or even a little worse at Watertown, Waterbury, Naugatuck, and Cheshire, Connecticut. But a huge area of southwestern half of Connecticut is in decreased air quality with some of that smoke. Same thing, Northeast Mass. Peabody, South Linfield, Lynn, over to Salem. You've got the worst air quality, but a large area is seeing at least some amount of smoke in the air. And that goes from Stoneham to Redding, North Redding, and up to Rowley, for that matter, as well. When you get farther to the north, it's lighter smoke that's in the air across parts of central uh, Vermont and also across parts of central New Hampshire. So if you're in the heavier smoke areas, you want to avoid heavy exertion, right? It definitely has an impact on the lungs. The thicker the smoke, you want to limit the outdoor time, especially folks with respiratory ailments. You know, air purifiers absolutely help inside the house. And monitor local fire department updates. The good news here is because the wind is light, it's not really going to spread fire. It's more spreading smoke for today, right? Uh, the other good news is take a look at this. Yeah, we're expecting rain to arrive between 6 and 8 a.m. One thing that I mentioned in the Insights video, if you didn't have a chance to see that already, is I think tomorrow it's going to be pretty slick for us out on the roadway. And the reason I say that is because it hasn't rained in so long. You get a lot of oils in the road. But, again, more on that in the Insights video. you find that on the homepage. Or if you haven't downloaded our free app yet, please do it. No gimmicks, no no, no strings attached. It is free. Um, it's something Danielle and I are proud to offer. It's Noises One Degree Outside Weather app. You'll see all the latest videos at the top of the homepage. But I think you'll really enjoy uh, the data that comes with the app as well. That's how things are looking for now. We'll keep you posted always at OneDegreeOutside.com.